to film with friends Missing VHS videotape repeating Welcome back everybody Got another haul video for you today So I actually uh, started a second job uh, This past week uh, Right now it is the first week of January 2023 And the last week of 2022 I got a job I interviewed and ended up getting a job at City Thrift, a uh, thrift store chain here in the Kansas City area. Uh, so it'd be interesting to see by the time this video comes out, which might be 2023, late, or 2024, uh, if I still work there, if I moved on to something else. Uh, but the day I went in for my interview, there's about four or five locations, maybe three locations within like a 10 minute drive. But I actually have the one I'm working at is actually right next to, like within a mile really only like a minute drive from my current job. So I'm, I'm able to like kind of save time by going to one job and then going to the other right after. Nevertheless, I went in for my interview one day. And after I was done with my interview, I checked out the VHS media section and came up with some good stuff. Starting off with this highly classified The World of 007. Not the biggest James Bond guy, but it just seems like an interesting tape. I'd go behind the scenes and experience the adrenaline rush of 007, not rated. I think this is around the Golden Eye time period, perhaps. 1998? Yeah, it could be. Then I have this release of Sabrina, the original version, from Paramount. 1988 release 1954 of course original movie but the VHS 1988 and the remake of Sabrina those are next to each other so they yeah, might as well get both also Paramount as you can see and I got Hoosiers just thought this was a quaint little version of it from Orion And going along with my CBS Fox video collection, I have Baby Boom. As I know, I like collecting these ones with a CBS Fox tag on the side. 1988 release. Then add into the RCA Columbia Pictures collection, we have Tootsie. Which I can't remember if I have this one already, somewhere in the collection. And what I do like better about going to... City Thrift over Sabres is City Thrift just has these little stickers on the side as opposed to these big ass ones that Sabres does and these ones are harder to get out. These things come off no problem. But my job at City Thrift is I'm a donation attendant. So you go to, you drive up to go donate. I'm the guy that helps you carry all the stuff inside. And so I'm, I get like the first eyes on everything coming in which is going to be really nice for me because when people drop off big boxes of VHS tapes and CDs and books I get to go through them and see what's what. Anything I like, I set to the side and I buy it myself with a discount. So, uh, I've got a really nice clean copy of The Natural. A Columbia TriStar. Or is it just TriStar? Yeah, just TriStar. Uh, this movie we watched a lot growing up, my brother and I. Down there. And this was an interesting find. Another Columbia Pictures TriStar one. The Jolson story. Can you imagine them releasing an image like that on a VHS nowadays? And then I found this two, two tape set of Camelot. I have a copy of Camelot already, but I think it's different than this one. I think it's the one, is it the one that has a, the bronze across the top or not? I don't know. This is a yellow, cut, yellow coated tag from Warner Brothers. And then I got this Great American Train Rides, Volume 1 and 2. Comes in this nice little hardcover uh, box. This is from a Questar video presentation. Just thought that would be a fun one to look at and rip. And the last one from this specific pickup is Mame, Lucille Ball, an old, black, an old big black clamshell from Warner Home Video, yellow coated tag musical. So it's the same thing, just years different, you know. 
So this is what I bought right after my interview. And the girl at the counter asked me if I got the job. I told her I'm not sure yet. They're going to call me back and let me know. She's, she gave me the d discount on it all anyway. So I think this is like $9, $10 month after all those. So that was a pretty, pretty good deal. Let's get those back. And then after I had the job, I think... Yeah, things between the day I did my interview and the day I started my training day, I went to a different city thrift, which is closer to Shawnee, where I was house sitting. And then I was going to Chipotle to pick up my order. And so I ran into city thrift real quick and I ended up finding this uh, My Fair Lady two tape set from CBS Fox Video. You know how much I love uniformity. And then I found this, Raising the Bamboo Curtain, Vietnam, Burma, and Cambodia, narrated by Martin Sheen. It's a hard, hardcover-ish uh, two-tape case, another Questar video presentation. So these two, I found at separate city thrifts, but they're kind of from the same line of, of releases from Questar. So I just thought that'd be another interesting one to rip and release. So eventually you'll see those, or maybe you've seen them already on one of the channels. And then I got this big box set. It's Unsolved Mysteries of World War II, unopened, still sealed. Six videos, Cold and Secrets, Battle Mysteries, People and Plots. Six tape set, and it's in a box set. Three individual sets of two tapes, unopened. And when I got these three, I think the person only charged me for like a, like a dollar each or something. And they, and I, that's not even with a discount, so. They just sold VHS tapes, 99 cents times three, so I got a really good deal on these. And then when I went to work, I did it on a Friday. Um, I found a couple things that people were bringing in. I set them to the side, then I found another thing or two on Saturday. I set those to the side, then when I left, I bought them all. But I walked in on Saturday, and sitting in a box with a stack of Gordon Corman books. And that's an author that my daughter collects. So I, I bought all those. And then I got these. I got this, The Best of Saturday Night Live, 1975. Damn the Defiant. RCA Columbia Pictures. And then another copy of Ghostbusters. Which I have this one and Ghostbusters 2, the same release, the RCA, or, or Columbia Pictures one. But it was, this one was in really nice condition. It was just sitting there, so might as well grab it. And then I got this. The Adventures of Indiana Jones, Indiana Jones Trilogy. The first three films in a box set. So I got that box set, these three, and then like five books with my discount. It was like $9, 8 or $9. So... I got one big box set. Um, two of these Questar box sets. I got two more to add to the CBS Fox video. Five more to add to the Columbia TriStar RCA collection. And then of course one more for the Warner Brothers widescreen coded ones, color coded ones. And another one with the uh, side coated, coated color ones. And then that box set. So, not bad. Uh, I told myself I wasn't going to do any more hauls and I was going to sit on VH on sit on VHS collecting for a little bit since these videos are way, 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 way behind. But can't pass up a good deal. So now every time I go to work on the weekends at the new job, I'll be looking at everything and hitting up all the different city thrifts, anything I come across and can get a good deal on with my discount, you'll start seeing it. So I said it's January 2022 now. I'm curious when you guys will see this, and it'll be interesting to see if I'm still doing that job at the time that you see it. So uh, as always, appreciate you guys taking the time. Comment about any of these videos. Uh, if you have any of these, um, if you want any of these, um, do, are you, do you collect the series and releases like I do? Box sets, whatnot. I like hearing from you guys, so like, comment, share, subscribe.